It's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Chief, Bart Brunsheen. I'm the Chief from the Dice Tower, and today I'm going to be reviewing Labyrinth. Uh, Labyrinth is put out by uh, Playroom Entertainment, and the designer is uh, Dirk Bauman. Uh, the Magic Labyrinth uh, did win uh, the Kinderspiel Miss Yaris in 2009, and there's a good reason why. It's an awesome game. Um, just to give you um, a brief chat, it's a kids slash family game, um, plays wonderfully of all ages, and let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Here's how gameplay is going to work with Magic Labyrinth. First thing I've done is I've already preset the board with these little tokens. They match the symbols uh, that they'll sit on. So cat goes on the cat, knife on the knife, and so on. Um, to show you underneath the board real quick, I'll show you the magic behind this. You'll see under here there's these little wooden blocks and they actually fit in in different ways into these little slots that are in here. And what these are going to do is they're going to make the maze that you can't see from on top of the board. So you can see how the maze is done. And you can see the goal on the pieces you're going to pick up. Over here are the pawns. They're all magnetized. And the little ball bearings. And you simply attach everybody into one of the corners. So the ball bearing is held by the magnet. And once you've got them all set up, you simply will roll the dice. So in this case, I'm red and I got a two. So I can either move to here first or to here first. When I play with little kids, I always make them declare where they're going because underneath, remember, all these little areas are the possible wooden blocks that are gonna knock my ball bearing off of the magnet. So I'll tell my son, where do you wanna go? He'll say here and I'll say move. And right away, I've knocked off my ball bearing. Now, to fit the wooden blocks in, I had to punch out these little cardboard pieces. I ended up using them to show where the walls are. It's great for kids, and I'll admit, it's great for me. So, I'll put this here, and everyone now knows that there is a wall there. The player, wherever they were at on the board when they disconnected their ball bearing, uh, it'll roll into the little trays, it'll come out depending on where they're at in one of the little slots. You can simply use the magnet to pick it up and then reset it up and my turn would be over. I didn't get to where I wanted to go. It would then go to the next person's turn and so on and so on. Um, so let's assume, I let's say I rolled a four, one, two, three, and I could get there. Yes, I didn't hit any walls that are along the way. I would collect, in this case, the little knife. It would come over into my area. The first person to get five of these is going to win. I would then draw a new one and place it out on the board. In this case, I got the little king's crown. Lucky for me, it's very close to where I'm gonna go next time, as long as there isn't a wall here. And it would continue around, and as people pick up these items, they, they get new ones. One little rule is, uh, let's say there had been, the yellow player had been sitting right here, and when I drew this, um, the yellow player would have automatically received this if they'd been on that spot doesn't happen too often obviously it's possible and that's the resolution for that rule kids love this uh, I play it with uh, four-year-olds definitely all the way up I've had adults that even like the challenge this is one of those games it's ranked real high on BGG that I can play with my kid uh, my grand, my mother can play, my wife is playing, and everybody's doing pretty good. Uh, my son totally understands there's little walls under here, and we use these to remind us of when we hit them, and that makes it very, very fun and, and challenging for everybody. I assume as we get better, maybe we'll get rid of my little cheat thing here with the walls, but I gotta be honest, I like them. It keeps me from going crazy. That's uh, as simple as Labyrinth is. So once again, take a little look, underneath. All right, I'm going to dump these little chips and I'm going to show you how the magnets are sitting on there. Okay. And the magnets are really strong. They won't come off unless you bump them. And the only thing I run into is my son would feel a wall and if he'd hit it, he'd say, never mind, I don't want to go there. He'd feel that he was going to knock it off. And that's why we had the rule that he has to say where he's going and he goes there. 
My wife also does a real cool thing with this game. We do a lot of outreach reach stuff with kids and adults. And she uses this game, all games really, but this one in particular, uh, to show perseverance, uh, overcoming obstacles, and that when life knocks you around and uh, you got to go back to the start, that you simply recognize where that problem was and you avoid it in the future. You don't continue going back and hitting the same deal again and again. It's a very nice deal. My wife's good about doing things like that. I love this game. Great game. Enough said. Have you seen the closer look? Kind of already got my feelings on it. Um, it's still available. Go out and pick up this game. Um, I can't think of a better suggestion I can give you. It's definitely uh, one or two on my kids' game list of all time. If, if you've got youngsters or kids that are four or five that you want to start uh, getting into gaming, you want to show them uh, how to make critical decisions and and use a little bit of strategy as they move around and, and have such a neat mechanic of, a, of the hidden hidden uh, little maze that's underneath. Go out and get this. Uh, the Magic Labyrinth. Wonderful game. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. Yeah. Yeah.